big up to the boys. Fox and Shane, set your minds free, no locks and chains. Do what you love, roll the dice. 50 50, we cold as ice. One thing cold, but a pretty time red. Hey. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Hobby Homies. We are your weekly tabletop podcast. I am Shane, as always, hanging out with Churchy. Good day, good day, good day. <laughs> You've done me a mischief <laughs> again. <laughs> You've done me an absolute mischief. You fell for it again. And I'm, Fox. Hey, hey, what's up? This is Fox. Hey, hey, gang. Not Churchy. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not Churchy. Point. Daily, I'm sorry that I'm not Churchy. We all are, though. Really. I wake up and I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a talented Viking of it's sorts. Like, I haven't got a beard. I'm not church either. Instead, I'm Shane's friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Be ashamed. <laughs> yeah, I am ashamed. ashamed. Today, we are talking about Necropolis, also known as Necropolis 28. Who calls it that? No one, apparently. Okay, so it's not also known as. No. <laughs> or you just made it up and you're like, it's also known as this in some circles. In some circles. This in one. some covens. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Well, well played. Mm. What is Necropolis, you well, may ask? Not you, Shane. I did a read through it. Check it out on our other channel. Link in the description. Damn, it's like a full. We're like a content creator, man. It's like a, that was a full I, YouTube. Bit. I mean, it, anyone could be a content creator, but to be a good content creator, which you are, no, nah, I don't. Know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> to be a good content creator like myself, you need to link <laughs> back to your content creator. <laughs> follow my course. Sign up now at hobbyhomies.com. Yeah, follow Churchy's channel. He'll show you how to be a good content <laughs> yeah, good creator. Content. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, follow Churchy. Churchy underscore plays is his. <laughs> On YouTube, you yes. think that's <laughs> it? He doesn't even know. He okay, maybe care. maybe he's not a good he's content creator. He's only got a casual nine thousand subscribers, but it's like, yeah, um, you know, Necropolis, Necropolis, yes, Necro, the Necropolis, yes, indeed. Not um, to be confused with Necropolis. Okay, yeah, good. That was a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, we're gonna say it a fair bit. <laughs> True. So this game uh, is one you did a read through on. Yeah. First of all, I want to know. We are going to talk about. Necropolis, but I want to know how you found this game. What inspired you discovering it and doing a read through for it? One of the homies in the Discord, Numa, from he mentioned it, and from my earliest recollection is that's where I heard it from. Sure, I've seen it a, a couple of places here and there nowadays in the wargaming community. Okay, uh, still pretty, it's still pretty like underground. Yeah, okay, you know, pretty Not niche. mainstream yet. Yeah, what are those bars? Speak easy. Speak easy. It's very yeah. speak easy. Yeah, yeah. You got to walk through a barber shop, then downstairs to the library that's been abandoned for four years. And you got to whisper a code to a guy at the door who opens a hatch. Necropolis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he rings the police if you say that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fair enough. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. I hope I yeah. said that loud and clear <laughs> enough. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I don't know. It's just it's it's still you know it's, it's only gaining its um its traction. It's got an active Discord, so check that out. Um, and a website, of course. Just Google Necropolis, you'll find it. <laughs> you um, won't though. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically Googled it and didn't find it. <laughs> Necropolis um, twenty eight, you'll find it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? If you want to find it, so underground, we're going to be the speakeasy. Come to the Hobby Homies mm. Discord. Ask Shane. Yeah, we'll point you in the right direction, <laughs> and we'll and Shane will t- point you to a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and that guy, if you if you say Necro Police, yeah, uh, will give you the rule book, indeed, <laughs> and the Discord link, indeed. Um, it's free to play from from memory. It's not um, a video game, dude. Of course. <laughs> well, I mean, you still got to pay for rules. But oh, yeah, other yeah, games. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, 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 right. Yeah, it's free to play. It's, 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 it's play. such an interesting uh, thing to say about a game. Why though? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why, it's though? free to play. It's That's... Like, just because Steam has a tagline, it's just free to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one has a tag. It's free to play. Doesn't mean Steam. If you already have phrase. the miniatures and you can download the rules it's free and to you play. already have dice and measured and terrain, it's free to play. It's free to play. Mm. Mm. It's a FTP. <laughs> it's a uh, skirmish size game. Around, you know, war bands between two to six models. Yeah. Um, very uh, encourages the the creation of dioramas. Yeah. So you play on sixteen by sixteen inch table. And what's that in feet? One and a half foot. Okay. Yeah, wow. So, it, it, And it felt small. I like how you looked at your foot. <laughs> My foot's exactly one foot. Is it really? Yeah. 12 inches. Yeah. What do they say about big feet? What do they say? Uh, big socks. My so- are you, I wear those invisible socks. I though. know. So I've never seen you wear socks. That's because they're invisible, dude. Mm-hmm. Crisscross. Applesauce. No socks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the 16 by 16 dioramic narrative style yeah. that this game is in mm. it's a gritty the theme of it is so interesting yeah it's like um everyone's dead it's an it's a, everything's undead everything is dead undead. Or undead yeah mm. yeah what's the difference 
That is a great question. Like, obviously, if something's... Unprepared for that. <laughs> yeah, curveball. <laughs> this is yeah. an interview. It's like, wow. I asked the hard hitters. Mm. I guess if it's dead, then it's inactive. And if it's undead, then it's up and about. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Let us you know guys the- tell yeah. us. <laughs> 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 yeah, so this, this game is... It, it, it's in the same vein as what's, I guess, now sort of referred to as the Inquisitor 28 realm of games. Yeah. And so that's like your your Mordheim, Inquisitor 28. Uh, there's another one. But it, it's it, they're all from this... Those games are all from this era, right? Mm. I learned this recently. Mm-hmm. So Inquisitor came out in 2001. Okay. By Games Workshop. Yep. Released this game, Inquisitor. And that at the time was really a sideways step from i mean they had mordheim yeah yeah so it's sort of a step towards mordheim would you say early necromunda would have been the same sort correct of vein? yeah yep. yeah big time yep and so these were a bit of a shift away from their kind of goofy wacky second edition warhammer 40k yep um which was kind of bright colors and yep. and and still quite a satirical take of the sci-fi universe yeah yeah and so these moved into that um i bl- I could be wrong, but I think like that Blanchis, uh, Blanchitsu, Blanchitsu John Blanch. yeah, yeah. era. Yeah. Because uh, I think he did all the art and stuff Super for Mordheim. Super Grimdark. Yeah, yeah. Super Grimdark. Yeah. Gritty, dirty, yeah. Grimdark. Yeah. N- not satirical. Kind of takes itself a little bit more seriously. Yeah. Vein of games. And that's where this Inquisitor 28 comes from because they made Inquisitor yep. in 2001. But it was 54 millimeter. Yeah, massive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so everyone was like, mm, no, <laughs> I'm going to make a 28 mil version of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they started home brewing rules. Yep. And then that <clears> sort of, <throat> I feel like that has, you know, Planet 28, mm. now this game, all the rule books look and feel the same yep. as all those games, Mordheim and such. Very, very RPG story driven. Yeah. You couldn't make it, you couldn't play a tournament with it. No, it's not competitive enough. It's not balanced enough. For sure, it's more for each player to encourage to encourage each other to tell a story of a battle. Yeah, um, you yeah. know, make things work. You know, like the it's kind of one of those things where it's like the cooler the better. You know, yeah, this guy's on a roof and he's jumping down doing an attack. It's like yeah. maybe if you break the rules down, you can't quite do that. But like, who cares? Let's do it. Yeah, That's awesome. You know, and in fact, when we were flicking through the rule book, we found the rules very ambiguous. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. like it doesn't even tell you anywhere in the rule book if that we could find that we could find. We are both very short sighted and short attention span. Yeah, and short <laughs> <laughs> in general. <laughs> and but no, I mean, if it's not where it where we looked, then it was in a dumb spot. So I blame <laughs> yeah, true. I blame you, Peter. <laughs> yeah, poor layout design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because the Very core rule layout. section is one page. Yeah. Yep. Um, so I guess this is the this is one page rules. <laughs> <laughs> but in it it says, you know, and it kind of just gives you a framework. And yeah, that, yeah. I think that's the intention. It doesn't say how many times you can move. It doesn't say how many times yeah. you can repeat an action. It says you have action points. Yeah. Uh, you know, movement costs one, attacking costs one, casting a spell costs one. Yeah. I actually didn't find anything that costs two. Maybe it's probably in there, but I didn't look that hard. That yeah, far, me neither. But, oh, you know, it's like- Ranged attacks. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, they cool. cost two. Yeah. But um, it's like, can I move, move, right? Like, yeah. That's, a, that's a, a common thing in tabletop gaming. It's like- Can I attack, attack? Yeah. Can you attack, attack? If you're already in combat, you know, do you sacrifice the sorry, ability? I'm sorry, hang on, hang on. <laughs> to move, move. Did you say combat? Yeah, if you're in combat, yeah. you could attack, attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 What do you think I said? <laughs> I didn't think you said combat. <laughs> there's a twang on there. Yeah, you might have thrown a. Uh, Sorry, you in there? You, ch- you changed some letters. No, uh, who cares? It's, it's homebrew. That's what we do. <laughs> it's homebrew English. It's DLC. <laughs> DLC. <laughs> it's a downloadable. That's some downloadable content. Yeah, downloadable absolutely. language. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Content. I fucking know, dude. <laughs> no one knows. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And we had to have that discussion. We had to go, all right, well, do we, yeah. can we move, move? Can we attack, attack? Can we yeah. spell, spell? If we can spell, spell, can we spell the same spell? <laughs> Negative. Can we spell spell? Negative. We were like, yeah. nah, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Why would, no. you, why would you do that? So, yeah, so we ended up coming to, yeah, just the discussion and, and coming to an agreement of what we can and can't do. Yeah. And then it's like, let's the dice, the dice roll. Yeah, you know? yeah. Let the blood flow. And it floweth. Oh, didn't it? <laughs> from it. Within it. There was some carnage in that game. <laughs> it's a great, oh, man. Can I, I want to preface this entire episode even though we're like i don't know what we're seven minutes in can you read that i don't know churchy what's it say 10 minutes <laughs> say, there you go. yeah yeah I, I, t- I threw a dart 
<laughs> didn't land on the 10. You were close though because it was nine minutes something. Mm. Uh, there you go. So he lied to me when he said 10. <laughs> He's <laughs> nodding. <laughs> yep. right. um, that was one of the, the list building of this game had me so annoyed and confused because it's <laughs> it's not as structured as i was used to yeah and, yeah, and i had yeah. a plan with what i wanted to do and i was like i don't understand any of this the rule book is weird which i've now learned to appreciate that it's kind of intentionally built in the framework of those older games we talked about yep i like that and then what the game was trying to do clicked some of the rules clicked i started building a list and this has been my favorite non games workshop game <laughs> that i've ever played really yeah yeah nice i want to play this more i want to do campaign with it yeah. i had so much fun yeah yeah it was a lot of fun i had so much fun <laughs> and like there's so many games like this right where people make these free rule books there's people creating new stuff all the time it's incredible this is by far my favorite so far yeah yeah and i i loved it and yeah, it's a little free flowing. Yeah, I'm yeah. more of a structured person. I'm very. Like, I'm going to interrupt you for a second yeah, yeah. about list building, right? You love um, getting so granular. It's like, where can I spend these two points out of a two thousand point list? I hate that. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, ah oh, man, like you know, even power level sometimes. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do math. Just give <laughs> yeah. me an army. But even um, <laughs> power level's too hard. <laughs> it's like 25 plus 25. I don't know, man. It's, it could uh, be anything. <laughs> it's a mystery to me. <laughs> um, I found this list building for this simple. Like it was really straightforward, you know, yeah. like you went through and picked your leader and then your, your followers or your minions. It was like, all right, cool. Each one's 10. The weapon I want is 15. Yeah. Plus armor is another 10. Cool. Easy. Yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, you've described list building, but I feel like because <laughs> because it's 16 by 16, yeah. you know, it's like one and a half foot by one and a half foot, roughly one and a half of these <laughs> by one and a half you of these. It's exactly one and a half of those. Yeah. yeah. I said roughly because I'm wearing shoes. So oh, okay. Knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe one point. Give or take half an inch. Yeah, yeah. 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 Off. yeah. yeah. I'd, Anyways. I'd, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say less. I'd take- say less. Say way less. <laughs> <laughs> say no. <laughs> say... Say way less than none. <laughs> Say uh, unsay things. Can I do that? <laughs> this Delete this episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. Um, hang on. What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know, no, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about having a sixteen by sixteen. That's right. Oh, it was me saying <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I think you f- you feel like the list building is easy because there's less of it. Yep. Because the importance is on individual miniatures. Yeah. To the nth degree, like you're used to that with skirmish games, each individual miniature, mm. but usually skirmish games mean six to 15 minis. Yeah, yeah. This means yeah. three to six, yeah. you know? Yeah, I had five in my warband. Yeah, and I had I had five in mine as well. Yeah. And we took a lot of, I would say, light mm. things. Yeah. You know, we didn't put a lot of equipment on, like yours had armor. But you can put armors, shields, better weapons. Range you can take weapons. bigger things, mm. flying beasts and such. Yeah. And we just took a very simple... Our lists were very similar, which yep. is nice. One thing I think we um, flew past real quick is there's a universe that's set in everything is dead or undead. Yeah. And so your, your warband consists of like, you know, spirits, zombies, skeletons... All kinds of undead abominations you might imagine, you know, yeah, uh, flying bats or whatever, anything that's a zombie you could you could potentially have. I was going to read uh, this blurb. Go for it, dude. But then I started reading it, and uh, I don't <laughs> understand any of these words. I'm afraid. <laughs> Is this for like like them smart people's? Possibly. It says the age of living ended long ago. Mm. Only the dead remain. Yep. Which you highlighted earlier. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Moments ago. I'll take the credit for that. The ensorcelled ruins of the endless city jut from the Aspen remains of the world like bones from a dry l- lake bed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hear the undead well done, gather. Dude. Skeletal thralls. Uh, dude, this is... There's 700 more words. Yep. You're just going to you just gonna have to sit there. just put a pin in that. But city is not without lords. Anyways, you're right. <laughs> Everything is undead. Yep. Um, which is really cool because in the similar vein to all those games mentioned previously, which fall under this banner now of Inquisitor 28 for some reason. I don't, yeah. I don't understand. I don't know. It's just uh, like, it's, takes the cake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> makes you think. <laughs> makes, <laughs> makes you think. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> they're all about kit bashing and creating these beautiful miniatures, which yeah. you can t- and giving them personality and character, yeah. which is so interesting when mm. you you flip it and you make it an undead, like you said, skeletons, yeah. ghouls, ghastly things. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm excited to go find some cool minutes. I'm not a kit basher. No, nah, you, but you'd find some really sweet 3D prints. And I would press print. <laughs> That's how I kit bash. Yeah. Slice and then print. Slice and then print? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Slice, auto support, print. Two step, three step process. Cut off the supports. Yeah. Cure it. <laughs> Put it, it on the table. Did you say wash it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Whatever. If I must. If you have to. So. What's really cool, like you mentioned, you're all these undead different creatures and they sort of fall into three types. Yep. Blood, Mm. bone, Mm. and plasm. Plasm. (laughs) (laughs) What a curveball, though. I know. (laughs) Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, so (laughs) ambiguous, but also specific. Yes, very specific. (laughs) So, uh, when you list build, what's really cool is you sort of pick a covenant that you belong to. Yep. Which I loved straight away. I was like, that's a really cool way to do armies because your your war band is called a gathering. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. your gathering belong to a covenant. Yep. And I'm just like, ah, the theme they do the theme of this so well throughout the rules, which is nice. And they really stick to it as well. There's like nowhere that it like it lacks. Each thing gives you a description of what it could be, you know? Like yeah. you start off building your troops as like it's like a skeletal husk and then you yep. add whatever it needs to it so and it, and it gives you an idea of what it could be um and uh yeah you start with 300 o balls o balls o balls yeah o balls o balls which are, are a silver kind of coin or something like that i don't know Some, they're something, a thing something that the undead like to use thing. yeah yeah they like it because it's shiny or whatever possibly and so your leader is free and it kind of comes with all of its free stuff or your leader's typically free Typically for a, yeah. And there's sort of three different archetypes of leaders you can pick from. Yep. You picked a Lich. I picked a Revenant. Yeah. Kind of gives, it, again, a description of what they do. Mm. You can then pick whether it's blood, bone, or plasm. Plasm. Yep. What weapons it has. Yep. Whether it has armor, shields. Yeah. And then that's where you pay the points. So, you get yep. your free leader. Yep. You You pick, they get some skills with them. What is it called? Uh, it's not skills. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Spells. You get spells. Yes. Yeah. And then you can go through the spells and the spells are split into necromancy, which is sort of like a miscellaneous one. Yeah. And then it's got a blood tree, a bone tree and a plasm tree. Yeah. Um, which all use bone, blood and plasm mm. mana specifically. A bone tree would be awful. Yeah. It'd be terrifying. But be not as terrifying as a plasm tree. <laughs> what even is that? I don't know. Ghost ectoplasm? Yeah. But in a tree? Mm. I'd rather a bone tree because at least I can distinguish that it's a tree. Yeah. True. Made of bones. Mm. Whereas a plasm tree, I don't even know if it's a tree or if it's coming to kill me. Yeah. I don't maybe, know. Maybe both. Yeah, maybe both. <laughs> Why not both? Yeah. And then you purchase your minions, yep. like you said, which can be like a husk, which is like what you said. You can get a familiar, which is really cool. Mm. You can get beasts. Uh, you can get a gigantic horror, which is 225 obols. That's, that's a lot of obols. That's so many obols, <laughs> especially when you start with 300. <laughs> that's all the obols. Mm. And then some. And then, yeah, your equipment. So... And the equipment is nice and, um, what's the word? It's like pretty non-specific. It's like yeah. two-handed weapon. Yeah, yeah. Pole arm. Yeah. One-handed pole arm, two-handed pole arm. Yeah. Two-handed yeah. weapon, one-handed weapon. Yeah. So you can, that just kind of lets you, maybe you've got a model you've already kept out and you're like, I want to make this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what kind of weapon it's got? It's got two axes. Well, yeah. it's got two, two two-handed weapons. Yeah, yeah, Two yeah. one-handed weapons. Yeah. So that's cool. And so, yeah, you build your little list abiding to their covenant. But you can also do a make your own covenant. Yeah, the wretched undead. Which is very cool. Yep. Um, which lets you sort of mix it up. But what's really cool is like you stuck to a bone themed <laughs> gathering. Just all about the bone. The boner boys, yeah, as the we boner call them. Boys. And I was a blood themed. Yep. And when your so our leaders cast their spells using blood mana and bone mana. Mm. And when our models die, they leave a a mana. Yeah, yeah. They drop it on the ground and then you can later on collect that. Yep. And yep. it's, we were just like, we thought we we're going to be casting spells left, right and center, but you only start with three or four mana. Yeah. And once you use it, it's gone until you pick up the dead remains <laughs> yeah, of your, something else. of something else. But then it's like, do I spend that mana casting a <laughs> spell or do I summon yeah. one of my guys that have been killed? Yeah. Summon them back. 
because yeah because we both started with summon as like a yeah. default thing yeah and because it's from the necromancy tree it meant we could use any mana to do it yep which was cool because it meant i could kill one of your dudes yep you would leave a bone mana yep because your models were bone if my leader walked over it i gained a bone mana which i could use to summon one of my guys yeah which is cool yeah yeah and that's kind of how the game the game was, it was carnage. It was. At the first turn, nothing really happened because the way we positioned it was quite, it was corner, like corner to corner. Yeah. Obviously on a square, you know, diagonally. And it's an interesting deployment style. You have to deploy with the first model touching both corners. Yeah. You know, both table edges, sorry. Yeah. And then both corners stretch the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> both table edges in the corner. And then the next model must either be touching a base edge and and a table edge. Yep. And then, you know, you stack them from there. So, you're basically s- deploying in base-to-base base contact. You're basically a little huddled pile yeah. right in the corner. In the corner. As much in the corner as you can be. Yeah, exactly. And then you fan yep. out from there. Although, like you said, because of the way we had our terrain and the corners we chose, we couldn't really fan out. Nah. We so, were, we're kind of siphoned around. Falling hallways kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Until we met in the middle and it was just yeah. a bloodbath. Yeah. And being a small table, you know, the, the movement's small. Like, we're used to games where you're like, it's just like a six-inch move. This was like three. Yes. It's like far out. I thought 16 by 16 was going to mean combat quickly, straight away. Um, but yeah, because the movement sort of halved. Yeah. It's all kind of relative. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting the way you move around. I can see why it is, is aimed for a more dioramic sort of yep. battlefield. Because I feel like your move is so small that every little inch matters. Yeah, definitely. More so. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that aspect of it's really cool. What I did like is something that I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, of, like, there is no misses in this game. Oh, yes. That is probably the best part about this game. You can't miss. If I do an attack to you. Yep. It's a glance or it's, a hit. Exactly. Yep. You've almost got two profiles. Yeah. You do have two profiles. <laughs> glance and a hit. Yeah. Yep. And so if I do three attacks and the glance is for one damage yep. and the hit is for three damage, well then for my three attacks, I'll at least do three damage. Three damage, yeah. which is one glance per attack I'm yep. doing. So yep. that's gonna happen. Yeah. So you're really rolling not to see if you do damage, because you will. Seeing how much. Correct. Yeah. And that's really cool. And it's the same for the spells. Yeah. The spells go off. Yeah, yeah. You spend oh. your mana, the spells Don't happen. They? Yeah, yeah. And they, yeah. Yeah. They were massive. They were a big, much bigger part of this game than I thought yeah. they would be. I can see why you would have a limited number of, like, mana dice. So, you couldn't just sit there just slinging spells. Yes. Like, it's, it's like, we sort of spoke about it and we're like, why wouldn't you sit in the back and just keep summoning yeah you know for sure and it's like and obviously and and because you can use any dice you know if you have a familiar picking up those other the mana yeah which you can do with the familiar yeah um you essentially could you could just sit back and just yeah keep sending yeah troops out because like we mentioned with the summon it's not like we roll the dice to see if the summon works yeah we say we're summoning. Yeah, yeah. We bring the dude back. It's like how much health they start with. Exactly. That's where the, the dice roll matters. And so you almost are forced to kill. It's almost a game of kill the leader. Yeah. So that they can't continuously just summon these. I mean, you can only summon what's already died. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you sort of throw your models up. Two of yep. them die. It's your turn. You spend a... You move four inches or whatever, three inches. Yep. And then you spend a spell, bring one back five inches from you, slingshotting it forward. <laughs> yeah. And then it can activate on its turn and go forward and run in and die again. Yeah. And and then, yeah, of course, you would run out of mana, but things are dying. Yep. So you can just pick up that mana, summon them back. Yeah. Lather, rinse, and repeat. And it's just like, that adds to the chaos, though. Oh, yeah. Because things are moving around. You're summoning something five inches, which is a big bubble in a in yeah. a 16 by 16 exactly battlefield but then also your opponent could be doing the same thing yeah just and and they're you know they're trying to take out your leader so you're you're playing on the defense and the defense and mm. it's like maybe then you would instead of summoning you would up to use a spell which is quite powerful yeah to take out that model which you could easily do in a single turn if you you know you, you roll one of the abilities i had um was bone spear yeah so i could um damage one of my models to to do bulk damage to an enemy model so yep. it was like like 
taking the life from that yeah. and, and putting damage on that. And it was three to six or something like that. So essentially you could one shot yeah a newly summoned model yeah big time yeah. in fact i was surprised at how much damage you can do with just your regular <laughs> troops yeah yeah because you say like one of our normal minions yep rolls three dice that could do three damage or it could do nine, <laughs> nine damage and most yeah. things only have about 10 health yep so if something's taken a, a few licks of damage from something and you just get in there and roll three hits yeah it's gone yeah yeah and that's crazy. Or like you said, if you've summoned it back and it, it has six health, then you go in and roll two hits. Yep. Gone. Oh, yeah. And then you summon it back. <laughs> and so, yeah, you've yeah, yeah. got this just craziness of things being summoned back, things just having a good roll and one-shotting something. And and that's without a mission. Yep. So, we didn't do a scenario. We didn't do anything. It was just like, a hey, let's just play the game. Mm. We'll try and kill each other. So, all of our things were sort of around each other. But you throw that in with the nuances of what a scenario would create. Yep. And yep. suddenly you've got to do other things. You've got objectives to, 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 to claim. Yep. Score points on. Yeah. So it's like, yep. oh, I want to kill your leader, Shane. So I've got to send things up to it. Yep. But you're also going to want to kill mine. So I need to leave things to screen it. But then also there's a scenario happening. Yeah. yeah. There's actually a point to this battle. And we've only got limited models because it's such a small model count that we yep. have to everything. It feels like this is the only game where every decision has mattered. Mm. Yeah, you can usually every, get away with like sacrificing one guy to, to, to you know, to, to sit over here or yeah. do, do that. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, it's like every model, it's like, I need him to first like send in just to make sure you don't charge my leader. And yep. Yeah. Yep. If I move and attack you and push you back, then you get to activate and move and attack me. But then what have I achieved? Yeah. We both just traded health. Yeah. And there's and I imagine when there's a scenario happening, that's that's a much worse trade off. So yeah. yeah. Man, I, I loved it. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um I'm looking forward to playing it again. Yeah. Getting some warbands painted up and Yeah. The only thing if I'm trying to think of negatives just mm. to give people a well-rounded review of the game. But I mean True. we played one game. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It, it's hard to say. I feel like negatives may, maybe, maybe the looseness of it. You know, it's not a very t tight rule set. Correct. Like to some, obviously that's a negative. Yeah. Yep. Um, to others, it's it's fine. Like to me personally, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, it didn't need know. to muck around. Nah. Because we, we're but we are war gamers. Yeah. So we know. You know, we've got a wealth of knowledge from other games where we're like, oh, it probably works like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone new to the hobby would probably, it might be a bit more curly, it might be a bit yeah. more, you know, harder to understand. But like, and we could also see it as as that, as something you interpret as, as you go. Yeah. You know, like there's 20 something rules in the actual book. There wasn't one point where we were, we didn't have to like flick through trying to find something. Yeah. You know, there wasn't like, oh, what does that mean? You know, that keyword could have find that. Yeah. It was kind of like, oh, yeah, okay. We'll just we'll just do whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And something also worth noting is that this is not a final edition. Nah. No, you know, this is still beta. Like It's free to play early access. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's... Uh, 0 0.7. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, this ain't this yeah. ain't done, but... Nah. Um, you can follow along, I guess, with like the progress of it yeah, in their yeah. Discord. Yep. Yep. Um. One thing I did notice is that, I mean, there's not a lot of minions to choose from. No, no. And I guess that, you know, it makes sense, but, you know, there's not a lot of depth. It's like you're either taking a beast or a, or a normal kind of, or a husk. Yeah. It's either a yeah. beast or a husk. Yeah. And then with your leaders, there's only three options for that too. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's quite narrow. The lists, I imagine, would look pretty similar. Yeah. And the spell trees... Uh, also very similar like your bone spear yeah is exactly the same as my blood whip yeah um but with a longer range i'm pretty sure yours has a longer range yeah yeah sure yeah yeah so which is fine i like that little change up yeah um but like most of the abilities follow the same suite like i got a yeah a spell yeah. that gives my dudes a free move so do you yeah if i could create the perfect game for myself yeah I mean, I already said that's the like that's the most fun I've had. So <laughs> yeah. it's not like I'm ragging on the game. Mm. These aren't negatives that would deter me ever from playing. Yeah, but something to be aware of. I I wonder what it would look like after 20 games of this. Mm. 
you know, but you can play a full campaign, so that'd be cool. Yeah. We should definitely hit that up. I feel like with the different trees and everything like that, you know, you, you, you could boil it down to things like it's basically ghosts versus skeletons versus zombies. Yeah. You know, and like that's that's boiling it right down. Yeah, yeah. You can, And then you can expand on each of those. Um, and, but, and, that, and that's a very good um, foundation. Yeah. To start from. Yeah. And then whether, you know, you house rule any of your own, whether eventually they release um, supplements. Yeah. Expansions. Yeah. You know, or mission packs and all that kind of stuff, which may or may not come. You know, yeah. obviously, you know, Peter's doing this probably on his own with, with a handful of, of play testers and mm. stuff like that. And of course, his Discord community. Um, and only having been released last year or yeah, or at least in the ether last year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you, things like this you look at, like this has obviously been a passion project for a long time. Yeah. You know, he's probably been working on it with his mates, pl- and, you know, ma- making them play. Hey, play, play my yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, I'm not like Dan. <laughs> yeah, that's like, no, I've added this. Oh, you know? cool. Yeah, yeah. Probably and just like, started with Huskies, like, I've added beasts. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, no, nah, it's, it's awesome to see from an indie, you know, developer. For sure. But that's the, that's honestly the best part. Is yeah. It's, you know, it's like a couple other games we've talked about before on the channel. Um, you don't have to be a multi-million, multi-billion dollar company no. to make these games. You know, you can be one dude with an idea. Um, and if people like your idea, they're going to play your game. Yep. And here we are. We loved your are. idea, Peter. <laughs> yeah, it was absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Please keep working on it because it's it's great. Hell yeah! It was so fun. I love the, I think the the how well the theme was woven into everything. You know, it didn't mm. cop out. No offense to other games, but you didn't call it a war band or a, mm. what else do they call them? It's like a war band or it's a what's the other one? Anyways, <laughs> crew. Um, no shade at five parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are the what is the five leagues things called? Um, they war bands too. Everyone's got war, war bands. Band? Yeah, yeah everyone's got war bands. Yeah, it's a and gathering. That's like, what do you call it though? A gathering, a gathering. Dude. Yeah, yeah. No, with a the gathering. Covenant. A gathering is what you don't call a party when you say, "Hey, Dad, I'm having some friends over." Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a party. It's just a gathering. I you know, know what? You're away for the weekend. It's true too, because <laughs> uh, a party in a game would, in my mind, is six to ten miniatures, but a gathering. Three to five. It's five runner. <laughs> yeah, five runner. <laughs> just a couple. This, this is a gathering. This is a gathering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. So, man, I loved it. Um, and we only scratched the surface, you know, because yeah. there was a whole depth of like how the scenarios go. There's ambitions, which are, I mean, I don't know. I can't remember what ambitions were. We, like. we barely used anything. We used the core rules and we just played a, t- yeah. get a tester, yeah. like a demo game. Um, it really was. Yeah. And I loved it. So, yeah. that's great because there's that much depth yep. to the rest of it. Mm. So, what did you mm. think? Loved it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, good. Since since looking at it a while ago now, um, I've had that war, that gathering yep. that you you printed up, um, and I've just been sitting there waiting to play it basically. Yeah. Um, well, to be fair, it wasn't much of a rush. Um, got a lot of other stuff, but absolutely glad that we did. For sure. Um, definitely something I think I might be able to convince Caitlin to play. Yeah, it was very. It's very simple as well. Yeah. You know, like when you get down to the core of it. Yep. Um, we've, I, I looked through my list as well and forgot a heap of stuff based on the abilities that my leader had, which permeate, like every time I pick up a blood mana, everyone heals one oh, HP. Oh, nice. So stuff like that is yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And when my leader gets a crit, yep. it does an extra damage. Oh, yeah. So Sweet. stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So, and yeah, we didn't look at ambitions and yep. the campaign and scenarios and all that kind of stuff. So mm. we'll have to play it again with a much more well-rounded look at the entirety of the game and yep. let y'all know. Yeah. But oh, let yeah. us know if that's yeah. something you're keen on. Yeah, absolutely. More Necropolis. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do some more something. Some more something. Some more we content of some sort. Something. We've got to do something. <laughs> something. In the new channel, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a different channel. Someone <laughs> yeah. else do it. Someone else's. <laughs> You've made it this far. Make sure you please like and subscribe. It, I know it's it's so, it's such a trope, you but like nerd. it makes... It makes a difference, all right? Yeah. And also, it, it helps, helps us know us. Yeah. if you like this type of content. Yeah, definitely. If our Necropolis video gets more likes than the rest of them, we're like, people like Necropolis. <laughs> yeah. We'll sell out for that. Necropolis. <laughs> Share it with your friends, your hobby community. Um, check out hobbyhomies.com for links to all the stuff there. We've got links to our Discord, um, our Patreon for as little as two bucks a month. You can get early access to videos like this and our other stuff. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. What else do we do? I would do some other stuff. We, we do, do the second stuff. channel, like Chain Second channel. Yep, link in the description. Check out that. Please give that a sub too. All our non-podcast episode stuff is going to be put on there. Yeah, so battle Slowly reports. transitioning a few battle reports over. and Yeah. Yeah. Any future ones we do. But yeah. I mean, I'm not saying this because we wouldn't commit to anything, but if we were to do an Acropolis battle if, report, if it would show up on that it channel. It would be there next week. No, I'm just but, kidding. <laughs> We played with unpainted models, dude, yeah, which yeah, is disgusting enough. It is. Yeah. Also, live episode next week. Well, as of this time, Wednesday. Wednesday, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern. Is it standard time again? I don't even know, dude. I can't Not even keep there. up. Melbourne time. I get so confused with what day it is because we have so many Americans in the Discord oh, and true. Canadians. True. And South Australians. It's like 3 a.m. The phone is just pinging. And I'm... And, just South Australians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. True. We got, we got at least one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, the Three, the three. days, the days. But yeah, Australian yeah, yeah. Eastern Standard Time, yes. maybe. Yep. But we'll post about that again yeah. in the on Discord. Facebook, on in the, the Discord. Facebook. Yeah. Soon. Couple of days. Be there. Live episode. Yeah, that's right. Because if yeah. you're hearing this on a Sunday. Wednesday. Then three days from now or whatever your time permits. <laughs> that's our time. And on the live episode, we'll teach Fox more about time. Yeah, that'd Together. be great. Please, please do. <laughs> please do. Please tune in. Uh, we might have some prizes and other cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. We've got some stuff to talk about. Some games yep. and some Teach Fox time. Mm. <laughs> we'll see you there. Massive shout out to our patrons. Without you guys, all this stuff wouldn't be possible. Well, I mean, the free rules would be possible. Of course, That's yeah. probably the only thing we could do. True. Burnsy, Final <laughs> Dinosaur, Lethal, Gridlock, Axe, Annex, MJ, Whack the Ewok, Test Dummy, and Black Bolo. Thank you, Moose, Elko, Churchy, my man, Rad, Ollie, Hawkers, Penny, Agro, Don Hua, Don, Pure Blind, and Big, Big Roach. Roach, and the return of Foggy. Thank you so much. Mm. All of you are of incredible. Course, Foggy. Uh, and we, like Shane said, we've got three lights now because of all of you. <laughs> it used to be one, then <laughs> it became be two. Now it's three. We didn't have electricity for the first year. We didn't need it. Yeah, true. We had bamboo and cotton tin cans and tin cans mm. <laughs> thank you all Over. Woo! big up to the boys fox and shane set your minds free no locks and chains do what you love roll the dice